Rose Tarot friends, it's Jennifer with Bohemian Rose Tarot here today. Um, I just got back from a little trip to see my family and waiting for me was this huge box of goodies that one of my dear friends, Carrie, sent me. And I am so grateful to her for sending me all these things. Um, I got a book, a couple of tarot decks, a babushka, which I'll talk about in a minute, and a beautiful set of runes that she made. So let's go tabletop and um, so I can show you this, this beautiful heartfelt gift that I got in the mail um, as I was away. And I am so thrilled with this. So, so thrilled. Thank you so much, Carrie. The runes came at the perfect time because I'm just studying those more seriously now and um, they're beautiful. So give me a moment and we will go tabletop and take a look, shall we, what this beautiful soul sent me. Alrighty, so first things first, she sent me this beautiful book called Color Your Own Tarot and inside is um, a lovely book with a bunch of information and I just love it. I think it's beautiful. And then there are tarot cards in this side um, that you color by yourself. So I'm going to have <laughs> so much fun with this. Uh, I'm really excited. Oh, and the chariot. I'm teaching a class today. It's cancer season, so I'm teaching a class today about the chariot and um, in my cards and combo class today. But um, isn't that cool? And you can even color the backs. I'm so excited to get into this. This is going to be so relaxing and fun and wonderful. So that's the Color Your Own um, tarot book that came in this lovely package. And then she had some tarot cards that she hadn't used in a while and she thought of me. So the first one is the Vertigo Tarot and this one is really cool. Um, hold on, I'm going to make sure I'm in frame. There we go. Um, really, really pretty. There's the backings, really cool backings. Um, and yeah, so I love it. I hadn't seen this one before and I really, really love it. I can't wait to get started reading with it. It's so unique and really beautiful. So that is the Vertigo Tarot. I'll go through a few more here. I'm just kind of grabbing clumps as I go because they're so, so neat. Um, but what a neat, a neat deck. So yes, this is the Vertigo Tarot that I was delighted to get. If anyone wants a full walkthrough on this, I will certainly do that. And then um, the other one that she sent me is a round deck and it's really stunning as well. And a very different vibe than the other one, but, but really cool. Um, is it Tarot of the Cloisters? How cool is that? So it kind of looks like stained glass windows. Um, let's see, maybe it'll come out the bottom easier. Yeah. It's, it's really lovely. I haven't had a chance to spend much time with this one yet. Um, I love the backings because I just got home. But um, I love the backings. I love that it's round. And look at how pretty that is. It's it's like stained glass windows. I'm so thrilled. Oh, hanged man. <laughs> so it's Rider Waite Smith inspired, I think, but there are lots of differences in the cards. I love almost the spider webby look that the cards have because they are stained glass. And they're so pretty. So let's look at a few more here. I'll just pick some up. I love the knights. It's so fun. Eight of Swords is a good one. Yeah, it's just really beautiful. Strength. 
it's just fantastic. I really, I really, really love this deck. And I think it'll be interesting to use it as well um, because it's round, right? It can show up sideways or it can show up upside down. Or I think that might add some interesting nuance to my readings. Look at how lovely. Oh, that death card is actually really, really beautiful. So, yeah, this is kind of my first walkthrough because I just haven't had a chance to really look carefully yet. We got we got back yesterday afternoon. Um, but it's, I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. It's so beautiful. That lover's card is so pretty. The emperor card. Okay, so that is Tarot of the Cloisters. And there's the, um name. Again, these are decks that I hadn't seen before and I'm tickled to have them. They're so beautiful uh, and so much fun and it was so kind of her to think of me. Thank you so much, my dear friend. We've been friends for a long time now and uh, it's and she's she lives very far away from me. Um, so it was a lovely care package. The Babushka. A beautiful, beautiful green with roses. <laughs> Perfect, right? It's double-sided, I think. Maybe, well, a little lighter on that side, but not much. Isn't that beautiful? So, both of us are have Eastern European heritage. And in Eastern European heritage, people who read um, usually wear a babushka. The babushka is said to protect yourself, you cover your hair with the babushka, um, said to protect yourself from the vibes of other people. It's not really to protect yourself from people, but it's to protect yourself from taking home with you the cares and worries and everything else and, and vibes of other people and your readings. And so by covering your hair with a babushka, um, that is said to not happen, and I thought that was a beautiful, beautiful uh, gift. I, I'm stunned, like speechless. It's so beautiful. I'll show you how to wear a babushka or how I wear a babushka um, at the end of this video. But isn't this just the most beautiful green with the roses? I'm so thrilled. But the piece to resistance is, and she made the bag, I'm pretty sure too, because she is just an amazing human being. Um, and so talented in so many ways, she made me some runes, or she made some runes. These are birch runes, and they are, I'm going to dump them out here. They are so, so beautiful. Um, birch runes are special. I love the edges. Um, special to me because there was always a birch tree growing uh, on my property growing up. And then when I moved to a house that we built many years ago, then I planted three birch trees. So birch trees have pers personal significance to me, but they also, let me turn these all over. Um, but it's associated with the B or the Burkana rune, um, which means fertility and growth and um, new beginnings and all those wonderful things. So, and birch, right? Because it's made out of birch. So I am so touched to have this beautiful set of runes that my friend made. And I'm in the process of learning them. Now this, I think the universe is sending me a message because um, a few months ago I won a set of runes and I thought, oh, that's cool, I'll need to learn. And now my friend has sent me a set of runes. And so I think it's time for me to learn runes, don't you? Maybe we can learn them together. Maybe that will be something um, that I do on the channel. I, I am, sort of familiar with them but not not familiar enough yet 
to uh, really use them in the way that I would like to be able to use them. So anyway, I wanted to hop on today and talk about this wonderful care package that this friend sent me. And um, I'll put the babushka on my head here in a moment. And yeah, uh, I'll see you in a minute. All right, so let's talk about how you wear a babushka. So this is a Hungarian design because my friend is Hungarian and Hungary and Bohemia, the traditional Bohemia, which is now part of the Czech Republic. It's like around, or, yeah, um, near Prague-ish. That's where my family is from. Not that far apart, right? And I love that she sent me um, a Hungarian babushka. Babushka, by the way, means little grandma. <laughs> um, because traditionally a lot of these headscarves were worn by grandmas or by married women, um, as well as people when they read fortunes or um, did divinatory work would cover their heads. So, uh, by the way, Bohemian Rose Tarot, I am Bohemian. Um, Bohemian used to also be a pejorative word for the Romani people, like Gypsy. That is not how I am using it. I am actually from the part of the world that used to be called Bohemia. So I just wanted to clarify that. But anyway, let's go back to the babushka, shall we? Um, so you take the fabric, it's a big square, and you take the inside sides and fold them together like in a triangle. So, so it's a triangle, right? And then you take the long side and you fold it down a little bit. You kind of fold it down twice like that. And then usually you'd put your hair in a ponytail, a little ponytail or a bun. And you put the folded side on the top of your head and then traditionally, um, the babushka would be tied under the chin in a double knot. How many of your grandmas used to wear a babushka? Mine did. So, um, I'm, and then I tend to wear it tied to the back um, just because it's easier for me. And um, the under the chin thing doesn't get in my way. <laughs> so that's how you wear a babushka. It's much easier if your hair is, is in a bun. But anyway, that's how you wear a babushka. And that's what a babushka is. Um, thank you so much to my friend Carrie. I love it. I love it. I love the runes. They will be treasured forever. I love the tarot decks also will be treasured forever. I love the book. I'm going to have so much fun um, coloring those cards. And thank you. Mwah to all the rest of you. Thank you for watching. This is Jennifer with Bohemian Rose Tarot. Lots of love and blessings sent your way and I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I wish for all of you to have as good a friend as my friend who sent this care package. We've been friends forever so anyway take care. Bye-bye.